I just went for a walk. Where's my suitcase? It's in the hallway closet. Why? Because I'm going to stay at Steve's for a little while. Okay? For how long? It says, like, you know, which voice do you want me to do? Because I can do, like, six or seven of them. Zoyberg. You know? Oh, that's a good one. Hello. Yeah, one sec. Telephone. Can they just leave a message? It's Dr. Michaels. You missed the appointment again. This is Nadine. Hello, Nadine. This is Dr. Michaels. We had an appointment scheduled for today at 2.30. Um... Thought it was next week. Mrs. Hall, I understand this is difficult. We need you to make a decision regarding your father's DNR. Okay, I'll look over the paperwork tonight. Is there anyone who can help you with this decision? We have a social worker. I said I'll look it over. Thanks. You okay? Okay, no, seriously though, but you can't do this to me. Like, I really need you right now. But you really don't. You don't act like you need me. All you've been doing is pushing me away for the last couple of weeks, so I'm just going to let you make this decision on your own. Why should it? He's not your father. Really? This isn't about food. Damn it, Nadine, okay. we can't keep having the same well, conversation. Maybe you said something smart for a change. Okay, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me? The bully trait must run in your family. Screw you, I'm nothing like him. Well, you could have fooled me. Okay, he put me and my mother through a living hell. And he would just go peacefully in his sleep? Yeah, I don't think so. You know what's funny? What? You weren't acting like this when your mom was dying. You leave her out of this. Why? Isn't she just as bad because she stayed with him? Shut up! Did she just leave the room or would she You're like stay and watch it ass. happen? Wait. Thank <laughs> you. 